This is an old American lock. I don't know how old it is, but it was in pretty tough shape when I got it. And a lot of, from eBay came in a bag, but it's kind of like that. You can just imagine what was in there. Um, and this is really sort of an experimental review of this product, um, which is related to this product, which I know Bosnia and Bill recommended for um, uh, lubricating your locks and so forth. Um, this is supposedly a penetrating oil type of substance that doesn't leave a lot of crap behind. And uh, so I put a good amount in here, scratched it around, let it sit. It's probably been close to 24 hours, probably well more than the product needs. Um, but you can hear it's still a little, still a little crunchy inside. Um, but uh, if I can decide how I want to tension it, and I don't think I want to do it that way, um, we'll see if it see if it's more cooperative. I haven't really tried to pick it, and actually I can still see some of that lube in there. So we'll see what happens. Um, so this is a wafer tumbler lock. And these typically are pretty susceptible to the old Bogota, but it depends on how how good the springs are. getting any sets, so let's come in with something a little more precise and just sort of feel each wafer. a set. That's promising. One thing with these locks is they, at least these Americans, but a lot of wafer locks give really pretty good feedback. Um, yeah, there it is. So this old lock is now unlocked and open. And there we go. Let's see, let's zoom out a little bit more. There we go. So it's a QHF Quebec Hotel Foxtrot. Whatever year that is. Series 10 American. Zoom in on it, get a better view. It's a key way. Actually, whatever is in there did dissolve some of the uh, surface corrosion on this. Um, it's old enough, I'm not going to try to really restore it. It has this chain attached. It's kind of neat. I may put a little bit of rust remover on it just to clean it up a little bit. Maybe clean out the inside while I have it open. But um, yeah, so. With my whopping one data point, this stuff seems to work okay. Um, and um, I could tell you that I've used this stuff a good bit, and it seems to work all right. I think WD-40 is still a better overall lubricant, but this stuff has the advantage it doesn't leave a bunch of greasy crap behind, and it dries up pretty fast. It's like alcohol-based. So looks like it really wants to be stirred a little bit, but anyhow. So there you go. Um, so American Series 10 wafer lock uh, SPP and a little information about this DuPont Teflon penetrant which you can find at uh, 
in the U.S. at Lowe's, at least, um, and probably at your local hardware store. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Alex. Um, as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.